everyone, I am Mecca Random 42 your favorite YouTube Harpy, and I haven't said much about the Joker movie since it's kind of just gone into production. The last time I really talked about this was back when I did the reaction to some of that leaked subway images that they, they let out as a teaser or a test. So let's look at the trailer. I'm kind of excited that that we do have a more mature, less hot topic sort of cosplay Joker that we have maybe more of a actual grown up character study of, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. This is just what is in my head. So this is what I'm expecting. A grown up character study of a criminally insane sort of person. I haven't seen this yet. So, so let's, let's, let's take a look. <laughs> yeah. Right here, right here. And uh, Arthur. Does Yay! To to City. To? Oh, he's in therapy. That's right. When did you get old? When did the little kid from Space Camp get old? My mother. I'm old too. Always okay. tells me to smile and put on a happy face. Smiling is for losers. She told me no, I had up. a purpose to bring laughter and joy to the world. <laughs> Oh, he's a he's just a misunderstood. Is it just me? Do they kick him in the balls? Or is it getting crazier out there? It is getting crazier out there. Smile, though your heart is aching. Smile. Is his mother played by the actress from Six Feet Under? I can't remember her name. In the sky, you'll get by. All right, this is looking interesting. Oh, we got the laugh. Ooh. What's so funny? Oh, they're turning him into a sympathetic, super. They're turning him into an anti-hero. They're turning him into an anti-hero. Alright. This is some of the footage we've seen. <laughs> I apologize for being reversed. I'm a little scared for copyright. But now I realize it's a comedy. Oh, there's a lot in this trailer. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> let's go. Let's go back. There's a lot to dissect in this trailer. Oh my God. Well, f first off, before we, before we get into like the breakdown part, that actually looks really, really interesting. I, I kind of, I'm, I'm getting a lot of the same notes of like the pilot episode of Breaking Bad. That actually looks pretty interesting. I wasn't, I wasn't completely sold. And then, you know, you'd see the little stills of Joaquin Phoenix. Every time I see a little footage of this movie, I'm like, I go into it with the mindset of, oh, I don't want another Joker movie. I don't want any more Joker stuff. I'm tired of the Joker. But then I see like, this actually, okay, this is looking really interesting. Let, let's kind of break this down a little bit. So, so clearly he's in therapy here. Because he's a crazy person. I mean, he's the Joker. Of course, he's a crazy person. So he's in therapy here, right? Oh, and he's such a good actor, too, because he can just emote. I love it when you can, like, see somebody, see everything that's going on in their head and their face. And and I don't see that a lot lately in a lot of modern actors. We, we don't have any good, good, solid actors. We have a lot of these people who just kind of stumbled in off the streets sometimes. But there's a reason why Joaquin mother, Phoenix is as popular as he is. He's good. To smile. And put on a happy face. <laughs> so may maybe this is why people are so harsh on people. All right, L let me try and flip this again, uh, just just for this review purpose here. All right, so so he says people expect. 
All right, let's try and read this. Let's try and read this. <laughs> I'm going to pull it up full screen here. <laughs> Jokes. Uh, people expect you to behave as if you don't. As if you don't what? The worst part of having a mental illness is people is expect you to behave as if you don't. Mm-hmm. Wow, that's gonna that's gonna hit home to people who've been in some some therapeutic environments, some situations like that. It's, uh, yeah, that that's true. That's not a joke, but it's true. He, he's absolutely right there. <laughs> totally not a joke, but see that this this is really interesting. This is exactly what I was talking about, where we get this cool character study, this in depth sort of sort of thing. Everything must go. Okay, that's one of those science mini guys. And we see his history of like being beaten up as a circus performer. See, anytime you get like super just knocked down, it changes you. It, it does something to your head where a lot of like you, you can go either way, right? When you get sort of and I'm, I'm talking figuratively, literally, you, you can you can do one of two things. You can get knocked down and kind of accept it or you can get knocked down and say, you know, what, I'm going to brush myself off. I guess there's a third option. You can stand up, brush yourself off, and say, I'm going to get even. And, yeah, that uh, that seems to be quite a lot of, of what this is leading up to. I, I'm, I'm going to assume that this is all probably very, very early in the movie, right? I, I'm going to assume that so much of this is very early in the movie. They're setting him up like a real person with some real mental illness where they, where they might laugh inappropriately at inappropriate moments. Or have have some sort of awkward social interaction here. That is that is actually really fascinating. I'm I'm very much interested in seeing how how they build up this character now. And even if we never see Batman, and I know we're we're going to probably see some. The, full disclosure, close your ears if you don't want to hear this. The, from what I've heard, as far as uh, like my my sources, my leaked sources have said that this is going to set up the the Wayne family as as a Trump sort of entity, sort sort of like oh they're rich people, but they're like the bad guys. I guess they're kind of kind of trying to spin that narrative, and like Joker is going to come in as like a Robin Hood sort of character. So I don't know how how common knowledge that is, but that was something that got leaked months and months and months ago. And I think, I think they might actually be on to something there. So this looks very fascinating. And of course we have this, this sad image. This looks like, and this is where he's transformed. This might be later in the movie here because he's got his full makeup on and just the smile. Oh, okay. Now I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited for this one. I wasn't initially sold on it, but this one actually looks really well done. It looks like they really... There, there's some pauses to take time and build, like what, like what I said with when you just kind of see the emotion on his face. This is one of the things that they don't do in a lot of films that are really aimed at a much younger demographic where they just have to have talking constantly and lights flashing and all this stuff. This looks like it's going to slow down, give some time to build up some atmosphere, at least according to the trailer. I am on board with that 1000%. I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm kind of, I kind of get scared to be so hyped for movies though, because the trailers can always be misleading, but man, there, there, there's a reason why we're getting a trailer so early. You know, it's already, this is out in October. It is April 3rd when we get the trailer for this. I have, I have some sort of theory and it's more of a educated guess and, and kind of testing out the patterns of things and noticing the patterns of things that the worse a movie is, the less you will hear about it until like right up to the, to the release date, you know, look at something like the, the new mutants or dark Phoenix. Like they're barely saying anything about that. Captain Marvel, the review embargoes were like right a week before that movie came out. And yeah, we did get trailers for Captain Marvel months and months and months ago too, like months before it came out. I think this movie, it, I just want to, I just want to kind of track and see how much, like how, how many review, how early the reviews come out, how early, you know, the, the word of mouth gets, it like goes around this trailer. If I, if I were to like compare this trailer to the original first Captain Marvel, Marvel trailer, when I did my reaction to that, I'm just sitting there 
basically making a joke of how bored Brie Larson looked and I'm just sitting there flipping through the, the phone texting because that was how boring that trailer looked to me. This one looks interesting though. So tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I am MechaRandom42. God, I hope this doesn't get copyright struck. <laughs> um, I can still premiere videos. I'm probably going to have a good big video coming at 6 to premiere. I might just premiere this one too. I don't know. That's the loophole to get around the copyright strike. I also have my backup channel, MechaRandom42 Live, that you can always catch me live on as well as Twitch. I need to get the view hours up so I can monetize that other channel so we can turn on the super chats over there on my backup channel. Please, please, please subscribe. Leave the videos running in the background if you can. I am MechaRandom42, PO Box 1566, Loveland, Colorado, 80539. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you on the next video or live stream. Bye! Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye!